The Legacy of James K. Polk, a Visionary Leader of Manifest Destiny. Today we delve into the life and legacy of one of America's lesser-known yet immensely consequential presidents, James Knox Polk. Often overshadowed by his more illustrious predecessors and successors, Polk's presidency, spanning from 1845 to 1849, was marked by extraordinary achievements that fundamentally shaped the course of American history. James Knox Polk was born on November 2, 1795, in Pineville, North Carolina, which was then part of Mecklenburg County. His family had humble beginnings. His father, Samuel Polk, was a farmer and surveyor, while his mother, Jane Polk, came from a family of Scottish-Irish descent. James was the eldest of ten children, and his upbringing was shaped by the challenges and opportunities of the American frontier. Despite the hardships of frontier life, young James showed promise and intellectual curiosity from an early age. He attended local schools and received his primary education in North Carolina. At the age of 11, his family moved to the Duck River Valley in Tennessee, where James continued his education under the guidance of private tutors. In 1815, James Polk enrolled at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, where he distinguished himself as a diligent and scholarly student. He graduated with honors in 1818, showcasing his intellect and dedication to academic excellence. Following his graduation, Polk returned to Tennessee and embarked on a career in law and politics. He studied law under renowned attorney Felix Grundy and was admitted to the Tennessee Bar in 1820. Polk's legal career flourished, and he quickly gained recognition for his sharp intellect and oratorical skills. In parallel with his legal practice, Polk pursued a career in politics, aligning himself with the Democratic-Republican Party and later the Democratic Party. In 1823, at the age of 28, he won election to the Tennessee State Legislature, marking the beginning of his political ascent. In 1824, James K. Polk, married Sarah Childress, a well-educated and cultured woman from a prominent Tennessee family. Sarah would become a trusted advisor and confidant to James throughout his political career, playing an active role in his campaigns and administration. The Polks had no children of their own, but they had a close relationship with several nieces and nephews, whom they helped raise and support financially. James K. Polk's political career was marked by ambition, strategic maneuvering, and a steadfast commitment to advancing his vision for the nation. From his early days in the Tennessee State Legislature to his historic presidency, Polk demonstrated a knack for leadership and a keen understanding of the political landscape. Polk's foray into politics began in 1823 when he was elected to the Tennessee State Legislature at the age of 28. His tenure in the state legislature allowed him to establish himself as a rising star within the Democratic Party, where he championed policies aimed at promoting economic development, expanding infrastructure, and advocating for the interests of small farmers and landowners. Polk's rapid ascent in Tennessee politics caught the attention of party leaders, and in 1825, he was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives, representing Tennessee's 6th Congressional District. Over the next 14 years, Polk would serve with distinction in the House, eventually rising to become Speaker of the House in 1835. As Speaker, Polk wielded considerable influence over legislative proceedings and earned a reputation for his strong leadership and adept parliamentary skills. He played a pivotal role in advancing President Andrew Jackson's agenda, particularly in matters related to economic policy and the expansion of executive authority. Polk's tenure as Speaker of the House propelled him into the national spotlight and paved the way for his own presidential ambitions. Despite initially harboring doubts about his electability, Polk emerged as a dark horse candidate for the Democratic nomination in the 1844 presidential election. With the support of key party leaders and leveraging his reputation as a loyal Jacksonian Democrat, 
Polk secured the Democratic nomination on the ninth ballot, edging out more prominent contenders such as Martin Van Buren and Lewis Cass. In the general election, Polk faced off against the Whig Party nominee, Henry Clay, in a fiercely contested campaign. Polk's platform, which centered on the annexation of Texas, the acquisition of Oregon, and the pursuit of manifest destiny, resonated with voters, particularly in the western and southern states. In a narrow victory, Polk won the presidency, becoming the 11th president of the United States. His single term in office from 1845 to 1849 would prove to be one of the most consequential in American history, characterized by territorial expansion, economic growth, and the assertion of presidential power. Manifest destiny and expansionism were central themes of James K. Polk's presidency, shaping his vision for the United States and driving his administration's policies. Polk's fervent belief in manifest destiny, the idea that the United States was destined to expand across the North American continent, guided his actions as president and led to significant territorial acquisitions. Manifest destiny was a widely held belief in the 19th century that America was destined by God and history to expand its boundaries across the continent. It was fueled by a combination of religious fervor, nationalist sentiment, and a desire for territorial expansion. Advocates of manifest destiny viewed westward expansion as both inevitable and morally justified, asserting American exceptionalism and the superiority of democratic institutions. James K. Polk wholeheartedly embraced the principles of Manifest Destiny and made territorial expansion a central goal of his presidency. From the outset of his administration, Polk sought to fulfill what he perceived as America's divine mission to expand its territory from coast to coast. One of Polk's first priorities upon assuming office was the annexation of Texas, which had declared independence from Mexico in 1836. Despite opposition from anti-slavery forces and concerns about provoking war with Mexico, Polk successfully orchestrated the annexation of Texas through a joint resolution of Congress in 1845. Texas's annexation as the 28th state of the Union furthered America's territorial ambitions and set the stage for conflict with Mexico. In addition to Texas, Polk sought to expand American territory in the Pacific Northwest by asserting U.S. claims to the Oregon Territory, which was jointly occupied by the United States and Britain under the terms of the 1818 Treaty of Joint Occupation. Polk's campaign slogan in the 1844 election, 54-40 or fight, reflected his determination to assert American sovereignty over the entire Oregon Territory up to the 54 to 40 d parallel. Polk's most controversial and consequential act of expansionism was his prosecution of the Mexican-American War, 1846-1848. The war was precipitated by border disputes and Polk's desire to acquire additional territory from Mexico, including present-day California and the Southwest. Despite objections from anti-war advocates and criticism of his administration's motives, Polk successfully led the United States to victory resulting in the signing of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo in 1848. James K. Polk's aggressive pursuit of territorial expansion left an indelible mark on American history. Significantly enlarging the boundaries of the United States and fulfilling the vision of manifest destiny. However, Polk's expansionist policies also sparked debates over the morality of territorial acquisition, the treatment of indigenous populations and the use of military force. As we assess Polk's legacy, it's essential to recognize the complex and often controversial nature of Manifest Destiny and its lasting impact on the nation's history and identity. The Mexican-American War, spanning from 1846 to 1848, was a pivotal conflict that fundamentally altered the geopolitical landscape of North America and reshaped the boundaries of the United States. Rooted in territorial disputes and the broader principles of manifest destiny, the war was a culmination of tensions between the expanding United States and the weakened Mexican government. The annexation of Texas by the United States in 1845 exacerbated tensions between Mexico 
and the U.S. Mexico refused to recognize Texas's independence following the Texas Revolution in 1836 and viewed its annexation as a violation of its sovereignty. The annexation of Texas also brought to the forefront long-standing border disputes between Mexico and the United States. Mexico claimed the boundary between Texas and Mexico was the Nueces River, while the U.S. asserted that the border was the Rio Grande, further inflaming tensions. The ideology of Manifest Destiny, which promoted the belief in America's divine right to expand its territory from sea to shining sea, fueled U.S. expansionist ambitions and played a significant role in justifying the war as a means to fulfill America's destiny. The Mexican-American War officially began on April 25, 1846, when Mexican forces attacked a U.S. patrol in the disputed territory between the Nueces River and the Rio Grande. President James K. Polk cited this attack as a justification for declaring war on Mexico. The U.S. military, under the command of generals such as Zachary Taylor and Winfield Scott, launched a series of successful campaigns into Mexican territory. Battles such as Palo Alto, Resaca de la Palma, and Buena Vista showcased the superior firepower and tactics of American forces. American forces quickly seized control of New Mexico and California, territories coveted by the United States for their strategic and economic importance. The decisive moment of the war came with the capture of Mexico City by U.S. forces in September 1847. General Winfield Scott's campaign culminated in the fall of the Mexican capital, effectively signaling the end of organized resistance. The Mexican-American War officially ended with the signing of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo on February 2, 1848. Under the terms of the treaty, Mexico ceded vast territories to the United States, including present-day California, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, and parts of Colorado and Wyoming. In return for the territories, the United States agreed to pay Mexico $15 million and assume $3.25 million in debts owed by the Mexican government to American citizens. The Mexican-American War resulted in the acquisition of nearly half of Mexico's territory by the United States, significantly expanding the nation's borders and fulfilling the principles of manifest destiny. The war exacerbated tensions between the North and South over the expansion of slavery into newly acquired territories, ultimately contributing to the growing divisions that would lead to the Civil War. The Mexican-American War remains a contentious and often overlooked chapter in American history, characterized by questions of territorial acquisition, military conquest, and the treatment of indigenous populations. Its consequences continue to shape the political and cultural landscape of North America to this day. James K. Polk's presidency was not only marked by his aggressive pursuit of territorial expansion, but also by a series of domestic policies and achievements that left a lasting impact on the United States. Despite his focus on Manifest Destiny and the Mexican-American War, Polk implemented several transformative domestic initiatives aimed at strengthening the nation's economy, infrastructure, and governance. Polk's administration prioritized fiscal responsibility and sought to address the nation's financial challenges through prudent economic policies. One of Polk's most significant domestic achievements was the establishment of the independent treasury system in 1846. This system, championed by Polk and the Democratic Party, aimed to safeguard the nation's finances by separating the federal government's funds from private banks, reducing the risk of financial instability and corruption. Polk advocated for tariff reform during his presidency, calling for lower tariffs to stimulate trade and economic growth. His administration succeeded in reducing tariffs, which had been a contentious issue between the North and South, paving the way for increased commerce and prosperity. Polk recognized the importance of infrastructure development in promoting economic growth and facilitating westward expansion. His administration initiated several ambitious projects aimed at improving transportation and communication networks across the country. 
Polk supported the continuation and expansion of the Cumberland Road, also known as the National Road, which was the first major improved highway in the United States. The road provided a vital link between the eastern states and the western frontier, facilitating trade and settlement. Polk's presidency coincided with the rapid expansion of the telegraph system in the United States. While not directly involved in its development, the telegraph revolutionized communication by enabling real-time transmission of information over long distances, connecting distant regions, and facilitating economic and political coordination. Polk's expansionist policies opened up vast new territories for settlement and development, laying the groundwork for the westward expansion of the United States. The outcome of the Mexican-American War led to the acquisition of California, New Mexico, and other territories in the Southwest. These territories, rich in natural resources and agricultural land, provided new opportunities for settlement and economic development. Polk's presidency coincided with the beginning of the California Gold Rush in 1848, which attracted hundreds of thousands of prospectors and settlers to the region in search of gold. The gold rush stimulated economic activity, spurred population growth, and contributed to the development of California as a state. James K. Polk's domestic policies and achievements laid the foundation for economic growth, infrastructure development, and westward expansion in the United States. His commitment to fiscal responsibility, tariff reform, and infrastructure investment contributed to the nation's prosperity and resilience. Furthermore, his expansionist policies reshaped the geography of the United States and set the stage for its emergence as a continental power. Territorial expansion was the defining feature of James K. Polk's presidency, and his legacy as a transformative leader is deeply intertwined with the territorial acquisitions and boundary changes that occurred under his administration. From the annexation of Texas to the acquisition of vast territories in the Southwest through the Mexican-American War, Polk's vision of manifest destiny reshaped the map of the United States and laid the groundwork for its emergence as a continental power. Polk's presidency began with the annexation of Texas, a territory with a long history of conflict and independence from Mexico. Despite initial opposition and concerns over the expansion of slavery, Polk successfully orchestrated the annexation of Texas as the 28th state of the Union in 1845. This bold move furthered America's territorial ambitions and set the stage for conflict with Mexico. Polk's expansionist agenda extended to the Pacific Northwest, where the United States and Britain had competing claims to the Oregon Territory. Polk's campaign slogan in the 1844 election, 54, 40 or fight, reflected his determination to assert American sovereignty over the entire Oregon Territory up to the 54 degree 40 C parallel. While a compromise was eventually reached with Britain, the Oregon Treaty of 1846 secured significant territorial gains for the United States expanding its reach to the Pacific Ocean. James K. Polk's legacy as a champion of territorial expansion is complex and multifaceted, leaving a lasting imprint on the geography and identity of the United States. However, Polk's legacy is also marked by controversies and unresolved questions about the morality and consequences of his expansionist policies. The Mexican-American War, in particular, remains a contentious chapter in American history, raising ethical dilemmas and debates over the use of military force and the treatment of indigenous peoples. James K. Polk's presidency stands as a testament to the power of vision, leadership, and determination in shaping the course of a nation. Despite the passage of time, his legacy continues to inspire and provoke debate reminding us of the complexities of American history and the enduring quest for progress and expansion. Thank you for your time. Be sure to like and subscribe if you liked this video.